This is a vis visible spectral photometer and I'm going to show you how I'm going to use it to quantify or to set up standard calibration curve for colored solution, cobalt chloride. We have a collect button here, this is configure button and this is the data collection button. Click, click on it, this will be the full spectrum, time, event with entry, selected one. So what you're going to do, you're going to use the full spectrum first, click on done, okay, click on done. This is a spectrum from 400 to 700. This is wavelength, this is absorbance. So the first thing is we got to get into experiment and we got to calibrate. Under calibrate, we got to calibrate the spectral photometer. Then we have a start on here and then of course this is file. We can have a new, open and also we can save it. Edit, we are not going into it. Experiment which is important, we must know how to calibrate this machine or spectral photometer and we have a data collection. This is under data collection. So right now I'm going to show you the simple one. I'm going to put in cobalt chloride, cobalt chloride inside. I'm going to click on collect button, green button here, which is collect button. So I've added cobalt chloride solution, which is red in color. So I have a full range spectrum. Because it's red, it's going to allow red light to pass through and going to absorb a lot in this region. So this absorbance here is very high. So I click on stop on stop I get into this button here which is configure spectral photometer so I can get an absorbance and wavelength so I found out we found out that this absorbance maximum is around 500 plus so I get into absorbance against wavelength absorbance against concentration absorbance against time this is for rate so I click on absorbance against concentration so wavelength selected it's 517 517 nanometer that is the lambda max which is down here now so I'm going to use the selected wavelength click on OK so I will always want to store latest run so I click on yes click on yes so what I have now is this is my absorbance and now I will have absorbance at this selected lambda max 517 nanometer and I prepared different concentration and I'm going to measure it absorbers and hopefully I get a standard calibration curve for cobalt chloride which is red in color so I have got concentration against absorbers so next thing I'm going to use blank put in a blank to calibrate this spectral photometer put in a blank get into experiment calibrate calibrate spectral photometer calibrating it right now so 60 seconds to warm up so I'm going to leave it for 60 seconds for it to warm up. So once 60 seconds is up, then I'll click on OK. So leave it for a while. While the machine is calibrating, I'll just go through certain icons down here. This is examine button. This is stats. This is the interval that we can select. And this is the one that we will be using, which is linear regression or regression analysis. This one here. This come up with our standard calibration curve and this is crucial this is the configure button or this is the collect button collect and stop this is the data collection so this part here will be experiment and we can save our runs under file so it's about nine eight seven once it's ready we will proceed we have calibrated the spectral photometer so this is done now. I place a blank cuvette. So I place it in. Click on finish calibration. Click on finish. So it will scan. And I will click on OK. So it has calibrated. Remove it out. Put in my first solution. Cobalt chloride. First cobalt chloride solution. So I put in my first cobalt chloride solution now so I click on OK click on OK and what I have now is I'm going to click on keep button keep so I'm going to keep the concentration this is the concentration I prepared which is 0 0.0001 M click on OK so for this concentration, I get this absorbance. So next, take it out. 
put in the next concentration. My next concentration is 0 0.065. Let it stabilize for a while. While it stabilize, which is 0 0.6665 now, which is a lot higher. So I click on keep. It is stabilized. So I click on keep now. Key in the concentration 0 0.00. 1m concentration so 0.001m 0 0.66 that's my absorbance data next concentration put it in so my next concentration is 0 0.145 concentration absorbance 0 0.145 stabilizes at this absorbance I'm going to press keep so my concentration is 0 0.01 m press ok so for 0 0.01 m concentration absorbance is 0 0.145 next concentration put in my next concentration and the absorbance now is 0 0.283 let it, let it stabilize for a while then I'm going to press keep 0 point key in the concentration 0 0.1 M press OK so my next concentration 0 0.1 M 0 0.281 so it shows that as concentration increases absorbance increases so I have four data points so I'm going to click on stop stop my data collection so I've stopped my data collection now so what I have now here is a standard calibration curve so I get into this linear regression or regression analysis so regression analysis is here it's shown so what I can do now is I can auto scale this range so I can auto scale it I press A Auto scale it. So click on here. Auto scale. Make it bigger. Okay. This is my standard calibration curve. Get back. Reduce it back again. So I'm going to select my interval. I can select my interval. I can adjust the range. So I'm going to adjust the range now. Get the range then change the range so I'm going to select the first okay the first four the first three concentration one two three concentration and take this question so this is what I have this is my linear fit with the intercept 0 0.04 0 0.04 what I did now is I took the first three concentration the first three I ignore this concentration because based on Beards Lambert's law if it's highly concentrated highly concentrated it will deviate from the Beards Lambert's law if the concentration is too high it will deviate it will deviate so I only take the first three concentration and this is my line of best fit auto scale it 